All right, today I'm going to show you how to wrap the, har the three inch harnesses to the harness bar. Um, first, you got to start by taking off the little end bracket. It's not necessary when you're wrapping the harnesses to a bar, it's only necessary when you're bolting them in. So, pretty simple. Just remove that. This is going to have a whole lot of excess on it for right now. So, to start, I'm just going to put it down here. So, alright, to start, you're going to wrap, you're going to go under the bar, th back through the loop, go in the first slot on your bracket, just pull it back, flip that over, go through the second hole, And then to lock everything into position, just go back through the first hole one more time. And that'll complete the wrap to your harness bar. Now, you're going to see obviously you have a whole lot of excess on the back right here. So, what I normally do is just take it, roll it up. And then you could take a zip tie, stick it through and th out the other end, and then just zip tie over it, and it'll hold it nice and tight, nice and neat behind the harness bar, so this way it's not flapping around in the back seat. Um, okay, and again, it's the same thing for the other side. Just unwrap the end, the end of it. Remove that little end bracket that's not necessary. Pull out some of your slack, some of your excess. Alright. Go under the bar, through the loop, through the first hole. Pull it up pretty, pretty tight to the bar, go through the second hole, pulling tight, you can always adjust it up here, and then to lock everything into position, just go back through the first hole, and into the back. And you can take this through the loop. Now you have both harnesses in the car. Okay, so when installing the side lap belts, just to give you a rough idea of how they install, at least on the Mustang, most cars are pretty similar. Um, so I'll just lay this up top over here. Um, you're going to take this bottom end, make sure you have plenty of excess down here, make sure everything's pulled tight. And then, down at the bottom on the Mustang, there's a stud. Um, some cars just use a bolt. But this will slip down over this. You'll put the bracket over that. And then over that, you put your nut. Um, that's going to be the safest mounting point. Um, other than that, you can mount to the planted brackets. You can drill a hole into the bracket and mount that way. Um, that we can show you later in another video.